Carl. 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 Why, why, why did I ever get... And... Gee, I just wish Sasha would shut up and show up. Oh. Hello, folks. Welcome back. I am the one, the only hobo Tom. Make sure I don't run over my hobo cat. Although I think she's actually in the line right now. Enjoying, enjoying something, at least. Someone's enjoying something. She just likes to sit, sit out, hang out in the line. I have a lot to enjoy, though, because I just saw Monday Night Raw. And it was in the, actually it was um, done through the grapevine that Vince McMahon wasn't there. This was actually a really wrestling-heavy show. But before I get to that, I'd like to thank all of those that watched my NXT show. Um, NXT did come to Daytona Beach last weekend. I might be going to the next show uh, September 19th, depending on job situation. Does everything depend on job situation? I don't know. But just for that, though, Mojo Rally! Mojo Rally watches the one, the only, Hobo Tom. Mojo, trust me, go back to NXT. Back Mojo Rally, just for you, you should, well, do a creepy crawl back to NXT. And if anyone else would like to get a little video dedication, I can always feel it. I think one of three ways, and I've figured out YouTube a little bit. You can publicly subscribe, like a few people have. You can comment, just like Mojo Rally did. Which actually, really kind of stroked my ego a little bit. So I'm like, Mojo Rally, what is my weapon? I have to make. I still have to make. Two thank you, those. Two thank you videos I still have to make. And, uh, you're out of here. Because that was kind of funny, too. Again, that was from NXT. Yeah, thank you very much, Mojo Rally, for watching. Um, I wish I could be watching you on TV. That sounds terrible. Yes, more Mojo Rally on WWE, definitely. Mojo for 24-7 champion. Mojo for universal champion. Mojo for tag team champion. How did that, how did that work? I don't know. Mojo Rally 24-7 champion, though. Definitely. So this was a, a pretty fun Raw. Uh, it starts out really with recaps on, on the Roman who done it. Uh, we go then into the ring. Roman Reigns is there. He wants some answers. Instead, he gets Dolph Ziggler. And the crowd's chanting, you suck. You suck. You suck. Oh, there's go. You suck. You suck. And then he started to talk a little bit. And then the match started, and Dolph suck sucker kicked him. Yeah, you can't say sucker punch, because he sucker kicked him. Um, Dolph just kind of goes on how he's a loser. He did sucker punch. The super kick, Roman Reigns, and then of course they the ref had to go, go, go check. Roman, you okay? Roman's like, what the heck? That wasn't in this. Oh. Uh, Dolph Ziggler still gets. He gets crushed right after that, though. Dolph Ziggler, for some reason, really looks strong. However, you still suck. You still suck. I think after this match. I think the crowd kind of died until the main event. We'll get to the main event later. Again, I'm always for wrestlers on TV. Of course, Carl Anderson, Machine Gunner. Um, yeah. And Mojo Rally, I want to see more on, on WWE, too. Whole other issue. Uh, but this was a fun match, though. I can't complain. Um, Dolph Ziggler hit a lot of moves. 
a zigzag. Ruby kicks out. Uh, Ruby Ray's funny to hit a drive by, which is always good to see. And then I, I just realized I'm like, wait a second. It didn't miss, I think, the first few minutes because I came home just like two or three minutes late from the gym. All hail the king! Jerry the King Lawler's in town. Hail King. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, the king. Well, oh, long live the king. The king is dead. Long live the king. Because we'll figure out what for Jerry Lawler pretty soon. Uh, so he had to drive by. All hail the king. Uh, Dolph Ziggler still looks strong. I mean, he hit the zigzag, a famous a couple times. Roman Reigns kept on kicking out. Roman Reigns is super strong, mainly because he kicked out of so much. Kicked out of everything. Uh, he eventually does hit a Superman punch and a spear. And, of course, the crowd standing at Dolph Ziggler, you still suck. So Roman Reigns went over. A fun opening match. This is a good quality cheeseburger match. And then uh, Becky does her little talk. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> what was it? Alistair Black has to take notes from Becky Lynch. Alistair Black sits in his little room and says, I want someone to knock on my door and fight me. Becky Lynch says the opposite. She's like, you, I'll fight you right now. Let's go. She, she, she doesn't want, wait for people to knock on her door. She, she just punches or slaps people around. Something like that. Whatever Becky Lynch does to challenge people. A lot more effective than Alistair Black. Oh, yeah. And, oh, and by the way, Fright, I'm getting a haircut. So most of this is going the way of the dodo bird when you see me for my impact show. Uh, then the... And there's the uh, King of the Ring bracket. Because this enters into its entrance. Into, uh, I'm going to do some stuff. Just realized that. But this, so this enters into the King's Court, where Jerry the King Lawler kind of just really tries to hype up the King of the Ring tournament. And then, unfortunately, because he is a legend, King of the Ring 201 Bracket. Bracketology, folks. Felt that wrong. Though. So, again, the lights flicker on and off. Once that happened, the whole crowd went absolutely bonkers. Because they knew the one, the only fiend was going to show up. And the fiend, and Jerry's like, I'm out of here. I'm done with this. This is ridiculousness. So he leaves. There we go. So I got that. Yep, there we go. He leaves, but unfortunately the fiend's waiting for him up to the stage. Honestly, it would be, and this is probably such a very minor critique, I'd rather see the Fiend be a move thief. And what I mean by that, he obviously stole the mandible claw from Mankind, but whenever he faces a legend, oh, maybe that's why he didn't do the mandible claw. But it would have been actually cooler just to watch him pile drive Jerry the King Lawler, again, Jerry the King Lawler's finisher back in the day was a pile driver. Pile driver are so fun. Need to bring back the pile driver, please. Not the tombstone one, the Jerry the King Lawler one. Oh, so good was a pile driver. But, um, yeah, where was I? I was, yeah, so they should have the fiend kind of be the move thief and steal all the legends. Finishers, I think that would make it a little bit better. Oh, and, oh, and by the way, the Roman Reigns Dolph Ziggler match was a cheeseburger match. If 
I said that already. I'll go to the magic edit, editing board. Uh, then Vic Joseph, Vic Joseph takes his place. And I was surprised. Vic Joseph is really good as a commentator. I was shocked. Then Ricochet and The Miz come out. And they tag team partner together versus McIntyre and Baron Corbin. And I guess they're really going to draw this out. Because they only had the two matches. That kind of makes sense. I wonder if they have the... Like the semifinals and finals on a pay-per-view. That would be good. However, I do miss the old King of the Ring format. Where they just had everyone wrestle on the same night. That was pretty cool. So, um, Ricochet, he's so smooth. I, I, I don't know, I don't know what he does, but he's just amazingly smooth. Does all the smooth, flippy stuff. If I tried half that stuff, I'd probably break my neck or an ankle or probably fall on an elbow and, and have to go to the hospital. And it, and it wouldn't be the local medical, local medical facility. They'd just say, hospital now. Uh, the Miz is pretty good. He's, he's, he spends most of the match getting beat up. Again, the blind tags between Baron and Drew is pretty good. They seem actually to be working good as a team. In fact, there, there's no real heel in this cube. Which is confusing. But uh, eventually, Ricochet does get the pin on Baron Corbin. I knew either the, the Miz or, or Baron was going to eat the pin. This was a good match, though. Um, the crowd is not necessarily happy because I think they were, I think they wanted to see a King of the Ring match, not a tag team match. Holla, 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 player! Player, player, holla, holla, I don't know, whatever it goes. But this, again, Ricochet and Miz went over. This is another good cheeseburger match. And then uh, Booker T is there via Skype. I think you can't get to him that way. I would think not. Oh, that's what the Fiend should do next. Get someone via Skype. That would be cool. Then we have uh, Braun Strowman versus AJ Styles for the U.S. belt. Oh, that slap that AJ gave Braun. It was funny because AJ is like all the way up to like Braun's beard. The height difference was was a shock. And once the club obviously showed up, you knew what was going to happen. AJ's not dropping his belt. And there were some moves. This was a weird show. A lot of botches. In this match, I don't know if it's just if they just wanted to showcase Braun's power, but he does like a standing back body drop. Oh, that looked rough on poor AJ. <laughs> and AJ goes flying for the phenomenal form, and Braun chops him right in the air. Ooh, that was good. Uh, but then we got a DQ, baby. Braun Strowman wins because the club, the OC, shows up. And this was a death-filled ham sandwich. It was predictable. That yeah, club strong. And then Sethi Poo comes out and saves his buddy Braun Strowman. And Braun Strowman, he be eyeing that. Purple Jam, Universal Championship belt, baby. We'll hear, we'll hear the, we'll hear Dusty Rhodes later. Don't worry. So then, I'll tell you what. I was kind of shocked at this because this could have, this could have gone either way. So now we have a King of the Ring match, and I'll update the bracket maybe next week. But. Both names sound good. King Cesaro sounds good. King Joe sounds good, too. King Joe. That's pretty good. Uh, Cesaro, he just goes right after Joe. This was a stiff, snug match. Woo! I mean, they were just giving it to each other. It was good, though. Um... And my only thing, again, such a minor qualm, why does someone have to lose this? They could have a dusty finish, baby. Nobody wins. Both look good. But um, 
The rolling uppercuts by Cesaro was amazing. Joe's just so stiff working. Oh, <laughs> Cesaro could barely get Samoa off the ground with Cesaro swing. Spun him around once and said, eh. Right to the sharpshooter, and then he transitioned into the label lock. Samoa Joe goes for the pin, uh, gets out, uh, hits up a little bit. Coquina clutch. Cesaro tapped. It would have been more compelling if Cesaro passed out. <sighs> Such minor quibbles I have. King Joe sounds good. This was a surf and turf match. Then Elias came out. He had a little segment. He had a bad guitar. It wasn't tuned right. Uh, guitar hand. I had to give him help. Our truth. Shows up with another guitar. Hands it to him. The light goes on. The hood, hood comes off. Our truth destroys a bunch of roll ups. Elias is learning. I'm not going to get rolled up that often. I figured stuff out. Um, he actually had to do a drop scissors kick. Elias eventually did, did get out with the 21st championship. Where is Mojo Rally at? Or, well, where is Mojo Rally at and the loser locker room? The New Day then show up. I'm going to make this in about 24 minutes. Rey Mysterio, it's a somewhat retirement speech. Dominic's like, no, I want to wrestle with my dad. I still want them to do a, a hair versus mask match with Andrade. Or at least... Yeah, they could do a hair versus mask match with Andrade. Ray loses, but pass his mask on to his son Dominic, who becomes Rey Mysterio the third? Or Rey Mysterio the second? I always forget because I, I know it's like senior, junior, and then I guess numbers, but I forget where the numbers start from. I don't know. It's way too. It's, how you get your name as the Mexican luchador, it's either random, you either have to have a, you have to have a mask. Then you're called whatever your mask is. You're either the son of someone, or you have like, or you're like the fifth person to be that person. Like Tiger Mask Five. Uh, Volano, Volano Trace. Hijo del Vikingo. I don't know how they do it there. It's, it's, it's way too complex. I would very simply be Hobo Tom. El Hobo. El Vagabund. No, El Well, that was already taken. I'd be El Hobo D. Tom. Something like that. I don't know. Um, then we have the New Day versus Revival. This was a fun match. Biggie is so powerful. Uh, he takes the brunt of things from the Revival. He gives as good as he can get, which is pretty good. Again, this is a good tag team match. When you get these two tag teams, this is a very classic tag team match. It's really enjoyable. And wow. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I was shocked because wow, Randy Orton really did come out of the middle of nowhere. So this whole thing, um, and went on with it with a, with a DQ finish, baby. I'm handling the spit of Dust the Road. And we're going to have Dust the Finish it all throughout the night, sweetie. Woo! This was fun, though, because then Kofi comes in, he eats an RKO, and then they, they give a, 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 a like double-team 3D on Kofi, and then do like a flying leg breaker, and made Kofi watch. That was really good. It drives him to point one. Kofi Kingston can't beat Randy Orton. Two, Randy Orton will do whatever it takes to whomever it takes to get that WWE championship. He's, he's going to break everyone's legs. So this... Even though with a DQ and in the WWE, a DQ still lands the winner. The New Day won. And it was a cheeseburger match, baby. Sasha Banks does a promo. She's all sparkly with blue hair, talking about her blue hair. I don't want to see Sasha's blue hair. I, I want to see Sa Sasha's. Um, yeah, that. 
Uh, Fire and Desire of, of Boo, Sonya Deville, and Mandy Rose versus Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross and Alexa Bliss. And I'll tell you what. Mandy Rose's bottoms keep on going lower and lower. Oh, no. I, I, I don't know. I can't say. I don't know. I'm just amazed. I was going to have a tag team match. Again, there's a lot of chemistry between these two. Two teams. Um, I guess I'll have to say it. Sonya Deville had a good body scissors takedown on oh, Nikki Cross. That's as excited as I'll ever get about Boo Sonya Deville. Still upset that she that Princess Kimberly had a job to her. Triple H thinking, or is that a McMahonism thing? I don't know. It was, it was a good match. It was fun, though. And, uh, uh, Nikki sometimes takes out everyone. Uh, Nikki beats up people. Nikki does Nikki, which is pretty cool. And, and then there was like a tease of a kiss. I'll, uh, firing desires on um, um, one instant, like, longing passion they had, and you're like, whoa. And Nikki and Alexa had that. They're just going to tease people. Yes, 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 yes. This is a good, and uh, Nikki and Alexa retain. It was a good ham sandwich of a match. So let's see here. Next match was Cedric Alexander versus Sami Zayn. It was a decent match. I mean, once you see Sami Zayn in the match, unfortunately, you're like, oh, I know who's going to eat the pin. Uh, Vic Joseph is really good on the mic. I mean, we don't need Corey Graves anymore. Corey Graves does too much bantering. There was enough between Michael Cole and Renee for the most part. Now, Vic, he's a really good play-by-play -play person. There was that one weird botch, too. Cedric Silas is flying. Sammy looks like he just, just got stabbed in the back by the lung blower. No, wait, it's the lumbar check. They all look the same after a while. It was a can of soup match. Mainly because, you know, once Sami Zayn got involved, it was predictable, and that botch and King Cedric and King Sami don't necessarily roll off the tongue like King Joe does. Then the Street Profits were there. Um, poor Dawkins got his bracket busted already. I feel your pain, buddy. Uh, many, many times that's happened to me in these... Uh, March Madness tournament. Then there was a club promo, which was good. Sucking themselves up. There was a Natalia promo. God, she's such a whiny Kmart mom. She just got wetted the whole time. And then when Sasha Banks beat her up, the crowd cheered. That's not necessarily a good thing. Then the main event of the evening it was Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman taking on Carl Anderson, the machine gunner himself. Yes, the machine gunner, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows of the club. Oh, wow, I didn't realize I was in that loose. But the club, again, very classic tag team isolation on success for a long time. Seth got, the, got this beat up for a while. I mean, he has ribs dropped over everything. Um, again, AJ pulled his feet from underneath him. His ribs somehow hit the top turnbuckle. Physics, and that's interesting. Eventually, Seth Rollins made his comeback. And then Braun just, like, disappeared for a while. I know he got taken out by the club early. And then Braun just starts running over people. Braun goes Braun. He power slams. Bean Gunner himself, Carl Anderson. <laughs> Did not work for a change. It backfired. His, gun, his machine gun got jammed. He ate the pin. They did not hit. The, uh, Seth Rollins actually kicked out of a... Where he, where he kicked through the Magic Killer on or Carl Anderson. So, but we do have new tag team champions, though. And Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. So, Braun Strowman's two time tag champ. Seth has held the belt, tag team belt, four times? Three or four times. He's held a WWE belt. 
universal belt. He's almost on his way to being, I think he's a Grand Slam champion, I think. And that was Raw, and that was a, that was a entertaining show. Oh, wait, um, that match was a surf and turf match. I know it's not necessarily the most predictable. I know it was kind of predictable, but I didn't realize. I knew the club was going to lose. I just didn't realize they'd get pinned. Though. I figured AJ would jump in. It's a little unpredictability there, and that was Raw in a nutshell. Overall, it was a good solid cheeseburger Raw. And I can thank everyone for watching my show. Again, you can be like Mojo Rally. Get your mojo on, and you can leave a comment. You can also subscribe. Yeah, I tend to check every so often. Um, again, for this week, I do apologize for people that wanted to see Hobo Tom and NXT. I actually forgot to actually put that in my weeks. I think I've been busy because of work and stuff. But so Tuesday is the normal SmackDown Friday. Impact, and then nothing gets really crazy until next Saturday. So, oh wow, so I have to do that too. Next week and the week following gets a little weird. So, thank everyone for watching. Have a good night. Bye.